what entertainment looked like in the early 2000s. Look at it, guys. This was the golden era of entertainment. I am a patient man, Ziggy, but not that patient. The golden era of entertainment in Nigeria was a time that the internet wasn't being heavily used. Facebook was still a new website, so fraudsters were working hard to make ends meet. Girls were in competition with the Power Rangers on who can destroy the RGB spectrum first. It was a time where families would come out and watch shows together. Tinsu at that time was a massive success. It was the first drama soup series that showed that Nigerians can compete story-wise with South Africans because back then, Jacob's Cross, even though it was not highly watched by Nigerians, it was the poster child for DSTV. Coco Mansion at that point hit the airways but was sadly only exclusive to high TV and by doing this they protected the band because not a lot of people watched the show. So no one could remind him to marry the winner of the show. Love Cocolette stands in. 5 million naira, a luxury car and what a brand new diamond ring. We do not forget guy, we do not forget. You see, in 2004 to 2012, producers of shows had only one motive, how to make families watch. Because if you can get a family to watch your show, be it bad, you don't need to advertise so much. Now you need influencers and also a significant social media presence to gain viewers. And even by doing that, your show could still fail. Back then, there was this love for family and it showed in the type of programs that aired. Good out to me, Sarge, even with the adult rating, there were never any sexual traits, mostly because a lot of them were trying to survive for their life. Snake! Guys, I've got bad news for the contestants. They're almost at their destination now, but there's so much bad news for them. Are you guys tired or what? but I got bad news for my juggling now. And that's why the show became a success, because Nigerians hate sex. <laughs> Give me a second to go and laugh outside. I'm coming, I'm coming, guys. What I mean is we hate public display of affection. Yes, we are all doing our things in our hiding, but not on TV. That's for the devil. So guys, what's next? We can't put people in jungles and their instructors being film directors again for obvious reasons. So what do we do now? Why don't we? <laughs> Why don't we do a dance competition for families with no dancing experience? Wonderful idea, man. Who the hell are you? You need a raise. That's a wonderful idea. Mosina Dance Hall in 2007 was everything we needed. A lot of bad dancers that as soon as you watch one minute of them dancing, you instantly knew the year, the date, the time this was made. And it was sponsored by the only drink that allows you to mix it with so many things. It can be mixed with Fanta, can be mixed with Gouda. At some point, Mosina and bread was a delicacy. The most shocking thing is when you mix it with milk, you can unlock the cure of diabetes and it was able to boost your immune system. Those were rumors guys, I hope you know. <laughs> Motina is a non-alcoholic drink and some of their core values at that point were family, fun and happiness. So a competition show about families dancing was the best for their brand. The way it worked was easy. People from every age group would come and dance at the same time. And the judges were meant to pick one or maybe two people in a region. And every candidate that qualifies would bring their family members to compete for the grand prize. It was fun seeing family strategize with themselves and learn dance routines with their instructors just to come out in the live show and do this. But it worked. Motina had the money and with that it became a smash hit during nine seasons. So why will a show that had all the fundings in the world stop or better still fall from Greece? I feel 
any show that deals with talent has to balance the mediocrity with actual talent. Take for instance any singing show. We go for the jokes at the early stages but we stay for the talent. Yes, this guy is very funny but I don't want to vote for him after today. The sad thing about this is after the show has used all the bad singers to make us laugh, they kick them to the curb and pick the better singers because I rather support someone progressing than someone predictable. Once you can't be surprised by someone, you don't feel connected to that exact person again. And I say this because most of the families in the show were there because someone in their family could actually dance. But what of the rest? And once we were able to get over that, a lot of people just moved on. Joseph and Richard, this is what we've been waiting for for years back. I beg, I beg, I beg now. Joseph, you know how we've been there so far since that time we did rehearse. Richard, you understand now? I beg, I wanna do our best. I beg. I don't know if the show would come back. I hope it does because my family is ready. <laughs> and I'm ready to show my talent, guys. Please, bring the show back. Thank you. Hi guys, you got to the end of the video. I know you Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. That's what I just said I'm now. Sorry, Anyways, I am here with my sister and we are going to thank That is me, I'm the sister. Uh plenty Patreons. Thank you, patrons. You guys are the bomb. First theory. Patreon, Iroko uh -huh. Critic. Iroko! Thank you very much. Um I didn't like you alone. Second Patreon, Belema Iyo. Thank you, Belema Iyo. That's all. That is a really cool name. Just two. Just two. I, we had a lot and they all left. No way. It's all good. They, they want me to go under the bridge. And I'm planning on doing so soon. So that means like, oh. So guys, if you want to join my Patreon and and, and get Please Nicole. Please join his Patreon. Shout your name. How she shouted. Come on. All you just have to do is yes. carry money out of your, your pocket and join my Patreon. I just realized that I'm not a Patreon. Yeah, the link is in the description. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rocco Critic. Thank you, Belema Iyo. Belema Iyo is like the coolest name ever. My name is also Prince Iyo. I married her. All right, bye, guys. No, it's the Belema. <laughs>